Welcome back to Mimi's Fun Time. It is time for another craft. Today we are going to make a musical um, instrument, which is, well, I think they call them maracas, or just a musical shaker. But either one, they're fun to play with. This is what we're going to make. bring y'all not down here but up there <laughs> okay the supplies you, you need for this um, maraca you can call it a maraca or just a musical shaker um, you need tissue paper or construction paper or paint just however you want to do it so you can paint your bottles is this is just simple water bottles. You can use the bigger water bottles. It doesn't matter if it's sticky or not because we're going to cover it. You need something to put inside of your shakers to make the noise. So you can use candy sprinkles, um, beads. I just have a little thing of beads here. Um, you can use rice to give it a different sound effect. Or you can use beans inside of it. I really don't know which one I want to use yet because they're all pretty cool. You need some Mod Podge or school glue and a paintbrush so you can paint your glue on your bottle. And of course, be sure to keep your lids. Make sure that your bottles are dry inside, okay? I'm going to use tissue paper on mine, and what I'm going to do first, oh, wait a minute, you do need a hot glue gun so that you can, you can use tape. Parents, be sure to help your kids with the hot glue gun, but the reason you would need one of them is because you need to take something to put them together, because when you have it, you can just like that, see? So, or you can use tape. Tape will work fine too. If you want to cover it all the way up with the tissue paper or your construction paper or uh, wrapping paper, it don't matter. Anything you want to cover it in or just paint the whole thing up. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take my lids off. Put this aside right quick. And if you're using paper, any kind of paper besides painting them, I'm just going to tear mine in strips, pieces. You know, kind of like doing the paper mache project. You take your pieces of paper. Rip it. Don't have to be precise. Just tear it up. Ooh, that's the best part. Just tearing something up. And yes, I will probably use all of it. Just make sure you keep your design towards the outside. You don't want to hide it. Ripping paper. <laughs> okay, just like that. Now, get your glue out. <coughs> Excuse me. And get your brush. I'm gonna try to push this other stuff out of my way. And take your glue and brush it on your bottle. Just like so. 
no hurries. It won't dry that quick. It'll just give you a little bit more time to get your tissue paper or your construction paper or your wrapping paper onto your bottle. There we go. Now, <clears throat> just gonna take a piece, put it on there, kind of brush it down a little bit. And keep on doing it until you get your bottle covered. <clears throat> yep. Just about to pick it up that way. There we go. And if you get wrinkles, it don't matter. It just adds the little character to it. I just grab my brush because it's got the glue on it. No need to have to pick it up with your hands. Mm -mm. Just grab your brush and just stick it right on on there. Make sure that you put glue over the top so your tissue paper little pieces aren't sticking up. And it won't take long for this glue to dry either, so not much waiting. <clears throat> And just keep on going. I need to put some glue there. Get a little bit more. Put some on top of that one. Okay. that down filling that little gap <laughs> okay Push it up to the edge of your bottle, the lip of your bottle. piece here and this right here so we'll just pick up another piece and just wrap it on
kind of give it a little bit of pressure so you can get it stuck down. Um, I have a little gap right here. I'm just going to stick some paper around there. Okay. kind of look that got a piece right here that needs some so I'll just tear me off a little piece and put it down just like that okay ooh look at there we're getting it right there a little opening just kind of put some on it just kind of fill in these little holes that you kind of left behind just like that I might need a little bit more glue okay I got some down here you can do the bottom also let's see Got there. Flip it upside down. Let's get the bottom of it. Just like this. Grab another piece of tissue paper. Put it on. Glue it down. Got that little dip. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get it. Tissue paper or any kind of paper you use, it is forgiving to get around the curves and in the little dips. Yep. So you get your edges real good. All right. Now, got to fill in the rest of this. Maybe this piece. Let's see. Okay, put it right there. Press it down. Oh. Bring it up and over the edge. There we go. <clears throat> oh, got one more spot. There we go. Just kind of push that one down with my finger. Cover it with some glue. Okay. There's jar number one. I'm gonna set it over here just to dry. Oops, not like that. It took all my paper. <laughs> yep, Mimi always makes some little oopsies. All right, let's get her next bottle and do the same thing. Put that glue on her. All the way to the top, remember? Then I'll show you how to cover their lids. Mm -hmm. When we get to that part. 
A. Come Rogan. That's just almost fun painting with the glue than it is with paint. <laughs> I like painting. I know y'all do too. What kid doesn't like to paint? Okay. Now, get my tissue paper. Remember, your design on the outside. Kind of pushes to the edge and up and over. Maybe that'll help us get it there. Wherever it lands, that's where it's going to go. This one right here, kind of cover that bottom part up. Just so maybe we can move a little bit further along. Okay. Yeah, there's a piece of that. Look at that. This paper does have these little pieces in it, which is kind of interesting. It's tissue paper. Yep. I'm gonna push that down. Okay. Give me another one. that one to the edge. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now to do the upper half and kind of sort of in the middle. Just gonna keep going until we get it finished. And if you don't want to wait for it to dry, you can always use a hair dryer just to move it a little bit quicker. a little spot right there and look it over from the top
this piece at the bottom Ooh, there's a little piece come off of it all right <clears throat> I'll put this up here real quick so I can tear my paper it down if you got that little dip. If you pounce it down with your brush, it will go on there also. With no bubbles. See? Okay. Get this other piece here. Let's see. Yeah, we need to go like this. Yes. Trying to cover up that little gap. Set up there and dry just a few minutes, and let me figure it out. You can use, um, let's see, what color we got in there really? We got orange, so I can use some orange, and it's pretty, it's a pretty color. I'll tear me a strip like so. piece of strip. And that should be enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Since this one is almost dry, see? The bottom is just a tad bit, but it's all good. It'll dry. Now I'm gonna decide what do I want to put inside of it. Hmm. We can do both the beans and the rice. So let's see. Get a piece of paper, okay? Or you can use a piece of construction paper and you can make a little funnel unless your mom has a funnel for you which I don't have one so I'm gonna make my own get me a little bit of tape here make it sticky sticky and if you mom and dad don't have one take your piece of paper just a square piece and bring it over and bring it down and you have a funnel just tape it down with some tape which Mimi don't have no scotch tape so 
I have to use my tape runner. Put it down in here like this. And push it down. And put your rice in. Whoops, I made my hole a little small, didn't I? Oh, try on there. Try on there. I need to make my hole a little bit bigger for that rice to go in. Did I do it this time? Let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay. And I still need to make it a little bit bigger. Oh my, oh my. All right. Maybe this time. Let's see. Third time of charm. <laughs> I'm just getting rice everywhere. Oh, how fun. Let's see if I can pick up my mess. <laughs> it's not arts and crafts if you don't make a mess. Right? I'll just clean it right on up. I'll just get it. All right. Let's see if I can make this a little bit better. Oops. Oops. Okay, we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna snip that hole a little bit bigger. So we can get this done right. All right, there we go. Now it'll go in there. Okay. The little bit that you use of your rice or your beans, is how your sound is gonna be when you shake it up. So, you put your lid on, and then we'll shake it up and see if we need to take some out, because the more you put in there, the more muffled it sounds, the more dull and we're gonna shake it up and see if we have plenty or if we need to take a little bit out or you just put a little bit in there with some beans and your rice and you just give it a whole different sound. So here we go, we're gonna see. Okay. Now you see how that one sound? This is filled up with about this much rice. Let's take some out and see what happens, okay? Look in there. All right. Now if you have a little bit of rice, let's see what it sounds like, okay? Oh yeah, that one sounds better. Doesn't sound as muffled. All right. Now, let's say if we're gonna use beans, okay? This one is about dry. We're gonna leave it just for a few more minutes, okay? Take our rice out of here and let's see what it sounds like when we have some beans inside of it, okay? There we go. Yes, what you put inside of it is endless. Just endless. Okay. Get my rice out of there. All right. Clean up my little mess again. Uh -huh. Look what Mimi did. Of course. Mimi is always messy. <laughs> All right, now, I just got regular pinto beans, okay? And, I'm gonna put them inside. 
just use your fingers. You don't need many. And let's see what it sounds like with the beans. All right. Put your lid on, and here we go. See, it gave it a whole different sound. Put them out. I think I'm going to do the rice. If you use the beans, it gives it more like a drum effect, a sound effect. That is fun. I'm going to use the rice because I want it to be more like a, a light uh, maraca sound. So, here I go again. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. <laughs> Okay, all right, kind of tilt it over a little bit. <laughs> and that's a little bit better. Like I said, if you got a big funnel, it works a whole lot better. All right. Okay. Let's see. All right, that's a good amount. And again, I'm gonna go clean up my little mess. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. This one is almost dry. And we're just gonna go ahead and move along. Just gonna put some rice in there. And here we go. Let's see if we can do this again. <laughs> Look down in there. Let's see how much you have. Oh, I might have got a little bit too much. Just a little bit. All right, that sounds good. It's still a little sticky on there. I'm gonna put my lid back on. Kind of tip the one over again. Remember, you can use your hair dryer, your mommy's hair dryer. Okay, set that aside. And remember, if you don't have any beans, or rice or any little beads you can always use this little candy sprinkles if you've got some at home and you're making with cookies and you got the sprinkles you can use them too yeah see use your little sprinkles <laughs> if you want to leave your bottle clear that would be fun put some glitter a little bit of glitter and put you some sprinkles in it fun you could put little bitty rocks in it. Anything. Anything for noise. All right. Now, we're gonna put our lid on this one. Screw it real tight. Make sure I got real tight on this one. Like I said, we're kind of hurrying along. So this one is just a tad a little bit wet, okay? All right. Now. You can put your bottles like this. Just remember, we're gonna glue them together. All right? So this is where you have your mommy and your or your daddy to help you with the hot glue gun. Okay, so we don't want you to get burned. So, put some glue on the end of your cap, just like that. And push them together, just like this. See? And let's hold it for a second. Yeah. Gonna squeeze them together. 
<laughs> it's like this. And squeeze them together so they stick. Right. Pretty good. All right, let's move that hot glue gun out there. And you remember the two pieces that I went and ripped off? Well, this is where I'm going to go in and I'm going to take my glue again, put it on my lids, just like this. Get your glue on there real good. If you have to, just pounce it on there. Sometimes it's a little, little uh, giddy on trying to get it in there. All right. And take your paper. Whoop. Well. And just glue it down. And also, if you left some spots over here, which I do see, you might find them when they start drying. And if you do, just take your other tissue paper or whatever, if you don't have enough, and uh, add a little bit. See, like, let me show you. See, I don't have enough on my edges here. So I'm just gonna pounce my glue down on the lids like this. And I'm gonna cover it with the tissue paper. Now, I know why I didn't get these lids completely covered, right? So I'm gonna take some more. And kinda go around the edge here, just like this. Oh, maybe. <laughs> here I go again. Oh, goodness. And just go around the edge, the bottom of your, where your cap is. Go around the edge of it. <laughs> I might be picking up rice for days. I got it everywhere. Okay. Grab this piece here. Get me some glue on it. All right. Just do the same thing. Go around it. All the way around. To the other side. Okay, get that glue down. Press down, remember, press down. All right, now, remember when I said, if you find any little gaps or something like this, which if it don't bother you, that's fine. But if you want to bring this orange over here to this, Get you some more paper and rip you some off and just kind of throw it on her like this. And that, mm -hmm. See? Make it look fun. Okay. And let's get another little piece. Put some right here. Just make it coordinate with the opposite color that you have. Make it look exciting. I still see a little piece that I didn't get right here. So, put that on this little lip. I'll put some more right here. Just like that.
I hope all you kiddos out there are trying my craft uh, ideas. Give you something to do while you're sitting at home. Saying, oh, I'm bored. Well, grab you something and make you one of these crafts. They're very easy. I'm trying to make them very easy for you. I got another little gap right there, so I'm just gonna kind of fill it in also. See? Let's see. Oh, where do these little bitty holes come from? <sighs> Here's another little gap. Oh, let's see. These are little pieces. These are little pieces. Now I can't find it. When you put your glue on there, it's kind of hard to find it. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Oh, I see a little piece right there. No worries. Let's grab this little piece right here. Slap it on. Just like that. Okay. a little bitty hole right there. You can make one for yourself. Make one for your friend that lives next door or down the street. Your best little buddy. Your best little girlfriend. Make one for them and you can have some jamming kids music and play your shakers. Okay, now that is almost dry. Check our ends. Oh, yeah, we could put some right here. Let's do that. Why not? Let's grab me a little piece. Bounce, bounce, bounce. All right. Let me check this end one more time. Oh, I see a little gap. Yeah. If you have a friend standing in the night with you, Save your water bottles to your mommy. Save your water bottles for me so I can make a craft with my friend. so contrary going down there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, that's kind of weird. It's just paper. Maybe I can get it with my finger. There we go. Okay. And there we are. Oh. How do I always keep missing all these little gaps? Silly Mimi. Get one more piece and then I think we're done. Let's see, where's that at? Right here. Hmm. No problem. If you want to go a little bit further on your musical shaker, you can add ribbon to the middle of it, tie it up, which I don't think I'm going to do that one today. No. But you can add ribbon to it. 
make it all pretty. You can put glitter on it if you want to put some and make it all shiny. And oh, I see another little gap. My goodness. Let me fix that. I usually give all my little craft items to my grandbabies. Yep. They like playing with them. away for a minute <laughs> and there we have it it's still a little bit tacky because I had you know just got done putting the tissue paper on it cover up my glue so it won't get dry on top and there we are. Like I said, you could tie some ribbon around it. Real good. And let it drape down. And put you some glitter on it if you're going to use. See, I have all colors of tissue paper. See? And if you're going to use a pink. Ooh, that would be pretty. For all you girls out there. Use a pink to cover your bottle. And... Put some glitter on it. If your mama likes you to play in glitter, get it all over you. Yep. And let me tell you, Mimi was doing something, and I dropped a package of glitter, and I tried to pick it up, and it goes, poof. So I had a pile of glitter under my table, and I, I totally forgot, and I didn't sweep it up. So I got glitter all over my room, and into the hallway, and into the living room. Well, you know, that's part of crafting. All getting that fun stuff going. And now, since this is all dry almost, now we can shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. There you have it. So, I hope you have fun making one of these. And um, we just never know what other craft we might come up with. Glad y'all came to see me here on Mimi's Fun Time for another craft. Now I hope y'all have fun making my crafts that I do come up with. And I want to do a shout out to our grandbabies. Yes, we got five. So this is a shout out to Claire, Autumn, Kayla, Jeremiah, and Rory. Hi, kiddos. Mimi loves you. And I love all you children out there in the world. So I hope you like and share, share, share my videos. And let everybody know that I just don't do crafts. I read books to you children. Yep. So I want you to be sure to subscribe because you just never know. And I tried to do a craft one time, maybe two crafts in a week. And on Saturday is when my uh, book reading will be. So when you're at home from school and on a weekend and you're going to bed, put on my video and I will read you a bedtime story. Mm-hmm. I will catch you next time. Y'all have a good day and a good night and a good
good morning wherever you are and I love all of you children and I will catch you when I'm back on again so bye bye